In this video, I'm going to explain why you need to watch more tutorials to become a better painter. Let's get started. Hey guys, Jared here from Mini Junkie. So it's a little bit of a beginner slash intermediate uh, topic here today. And basically in your quest to become a better painter, assuming that's why you're watching my videos and it's something you're interested in doing, um, I want to encourage you to watch more tutorials. And to be honest, consume more tutorials might be a better way of putting it. Because there's plenty of really good tutorials with photos, etc. on blogs. And, and to be honest, even White Dwarf has, has some really good ones. And I don't mean watch four different tutorials of how to paint ultramarines. By watch more, I mean watch more variety, watch more genres, watch more artists, watch more types of paint tutorials and types of armies and types of miniatures. And you don't have to watch them start to finish. Some tutorials are really long. The idea with this approach is to build up your toolkit or your toolbox or your, your repertoire of, of techniques and abilities and sound like a superhero and to add techniques and to add tips and tricks and methods into your repertoire as you look at painting miniatures so it's less about learning how I know how to paint ultramarines or I have now learned how to paint skeletons and it's more about I now know how to paint bone or I've got some great recipes for blue that I can apply to all kinds of other projects so that as you approach a new project a new army a new miniature you're, you're doing so with the accumulated tips, tricks, techniques, and recipes that you've gained through consuming and watching and, and investigating all these tutorials and all these how-to guides. I mean, some of the sources, uh, for example, on YouTube, you've got Miniac's channel, Sarastro's channel, Cujo painting, Pirate Monkey painting. Uh, I'm probably missing a few. Um, Warhammer TV. Warhammer TV's awesome lately because they are, more and more, I would say, they're moving towards quick tips and techniques to apply to different sorts of miniatures, which you can then absorb and apply to all kinds of different projects. Whenever you're online and when you're watching videos or reading White Dwarf or whatever browsing cool mini or not, look for miniatures, look at elements of those miniatures that you think you could incorporate into some of your work, in the, whether currently or in the future. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to paint glowing runes or zombie flesh or, like I said, bone or eyes. The thing you can do is do a Google search and look at Google images, spot the, thing, spot the miniatures and, and armies that you think look really killer and are jumping off the screen at you, and then click through and see if there are tutorials about how to paint that or maybe if it's like reddit or something like that you can even ask that person how they achieved and don't say how did you paint that towel because you're not going to get a great answer most of the time but if you say how did you achieve that yellow on that towel they may tell you it's also a great way to get inspired um when it came to the namarty thralls and i'll link to the tutorial here um I didn't know how I was going to paint the flesh. I knew I didn't want to paint it that sort of yellowy, greenish, pale color that the official ones are done in. I mean, it looks cool, but it's just not what I was going for. And I know how to paint a lot of different types of flesh. And yet, as I sort of sifted through my mental toolbox, I, I couldn't quite come up with a scheme that I thought was going to look cool and that I wanted to use. So there I am browsing through the latest White Dwarf or, you know, a current White Dwarf. And I see um, one of the people that work there their daughters of Cain army is in there and they have this really cool like violet white almost white violet colored flesh and lo and behold it says how they painted that in the sidebar so into the toolbox in my in my head I'm like okay that looks cool for the flesh I think it would look great on my Namarty thralls this is how he did it I'm gonna try that as you know from the tutorial that's what I did I really like the effect and now I've got a great sort of color scheme that I can also apply maybe to other types of uh, you know models and miniatures as I go forward. I mean it's totally cool to watch tutorials about how to paint an entire miniature of a certain type for example I'm creating those types of tutorials so hopefully you're gonna watch those like Balturnus for example which I can link here as well. You can watch an entire tutorial of how to paint an ultramarine that is absolutely cool. Go outside your comfort zone and outside even the sort of narrow genre you're in even if you're just a 40k painter, watch some AOS tutorials, watch some fantasy tutorials, watch some bolt action tutorials. You, you never know what you're going to pick up. You could pick up a really great recipe for flesh tones for humans, maybe your Imperial Guard. You could paint up some great metallic recipes. 
you just never know what you're going to find out there from all these different painters that are posting their work and their lessons and tutorials online. So as you're developing your skills and as you're getting deeper into the hobby, change your mindset to one of being like a sponge, absorbing techniques and recipes and paint formulas that you are then applying to future projects, future miniatures, and you're basically adding to your skill set and adding to your repertoire of tips and techniques that you can use. If you're into comics, be like Rogue. Absorb people's powers and apply them to your own needs and, your, and to your own ends. Except Rogue needs to touch people to absorb their powers and you, I would say don't touch them unless you ask first. Because, yeah, that could be weird. I hope this gives you some interesting and, and helpful perspective on how to continue to learn and how to continue to grow your skills in painting miniatures and definitely subscribe and click that bell notification don't miss any of this stuff